I am the vine. You are the branches. Remain in me. Like so many of us these days, I'm living a life socially distant from most people. And like many of us, I'm sure, I spend more time in my house by myself than I've ever had before, than I've ever done before. I spend an awful lot of time looking out the window as I walk from room to room. I look out the window and I live on a very busy street. I live on Route 16, which is really basically a a very busy secondary road. Except that lately, uh, it's really not that busy at all. I'm amazed when I look out the window and moments do go by when I see no cars. When usually, at certain times of the day, there are two lanes of traffic bumper to bumper on Route 16. Across the street from where I'm looking out the window is a bus stop. Commuters going in and out of Boston all the time. That bus stop, as you can well guess, has been empty. I stand in my room looking out the window at the bus stop and I see no one. I can remember what it looked like with people standing there and I remember there were times that I've looked out the window and I've said a little prayer for someone standing at the bus stop. I don't know where they're going, I don't know what their job is, but we could all use a little prayer, so I'll throw them into a prayer. I've wondered where those people are. And probably two weeks ago, I came up with a question in my mind. They're not standing at the bus stop. I wonder where they're standing right now. Are they standing in their house looking out the window? I don't know, but I've wondered that. Where are they standing? I wonder where they're standing right now. The readings this day the feast that we celebrate, truly can be understood as looking at people who are standing somewhere. In the first reading, it's really where they're not standing, some of them. In that first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, those days when our church was truly just being put together, they didn't know where to stand. I'm always a bit reassured that even in the days of the early church, there was a lot of sort of in-discussing going on. They didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to carry on. They didn't know where to stand. Some wanted to stand in the old ways. Others wanted to stand in the new way, the gospel following Jesus. Some wanted to stand in a place that was safely in the middle, They didn't know where to stand. They were afraid, some of them, to to let go of the old ways and stand in this new light, this new way of living that invited us to constantly know where we did stand, that always we stand in the light of our God. Jesus very clearly underscores that for us in the gospel when he reminds us that He's the vine, we are the branches. That when we stand with him, he will be the source, the source. That's what a vine does for the branches. It's the source of life, the source of courage, the source of compassion, the source of forgiveness. When we allow ourselves to stand with him, we find ourselves with a resiliency that sometimes we forget that we have. We find ourselves standing in a strength that sometimes fear tries to negate or invite us to forget that we have. My friends, that's why prayer is so important. When we open ourselves to his spirit in prayer, we're reminded that he is our vine, that we do not stand alone. We celebrate 
this day, a feast of Mary, the feast of Our Lady of Fatima. And when we look at Mary through that image, that title, we're reminded of the promises. We're reminded of the dialogue. We're reminded of Mary touching her heart to ours, reminding us of the importance of prayer. To take the time every single day to look out the window. To take some time every single day to look around. To look for things, people, that probably could use a little prayer. What a great mission for those of us that are spending a little more time in the house than perhaps we would like to be reminded through her yes, her faith, that when we stand with God by our side, when we are open to his power and his presence, some amazing things can happen. And very often they can happen through us. The branches, nourished by him, taken care of by him, so that we in some way can offer a word of consolation, a prayer for those around us. My friends, in a very real way this day, we are reminded that when we stand with him, when we stand with Jesus, we never stand alone.